Hey everybody, it's Dan from Dan Scale Model Creations, and uh, it's been a while since I put up a post, but you guys know how that is. Life, uh, life gets in the way of a lot of things, and uh, I haven't stopped building. So uh, even though I haven't been posting, I've still been building quite a bit of uh, military and um, aircraft, uh, some automotive. But uh, I'm back with a video on how to take your 55 Chevy kit from this to this. So this is obviously the exact same kit. You've got the uh, 55 Chevy straight out of the showroom back there and the 55 Chevy that's been sitting in somebody's backyard for years and years uh, just being neglected. Um, they're both the exact same kit. Uh, this one here, I just simply uh, heavily weathered the engine bay, uh, everything, the under the undercarriage and all that. But this video in particular is going to be about how to weather the uh, convertible roof and canvas material, uh, as well as things such as the back window where you can see it's broken there. I've already had I already posted videos uh, with regards to how to do uh, paint weathering and salt effects and all of that kind of stuff. So you guys can go search those out on my channel um, if you're interested in that. But this video will mainly focus on how to do this. So let's get started. So you're going to need a few things in order to achieve this effect on your vehicle. You're going to need some white PVA glue. You're going to need something to put the PVA glue in and mix it. You're going to need some water. If you have a marker, you can use a marker to put where you're going to put your holes. Uh, you need some kind of a brush to apply the PVA glue and you're going to need some tissue paper. Uh, all of this stuff is really cheap to purchase. You can get it at the dollar store. You're also going to want a good quality uh, knife for, uh, for cutting out the, the roof itself. And you're going to need the roof or the panel that you're going to be cutting. So... You can see that I use the marker just to kind of rough out where I'm going to want to put the holes. You don't have to do this. Uh, if you want to just simply rough it out and put some holes wherever you want to put holes, that's perfectly fine. I just do this as a general guide, that's all. So if you take your utility knife and make sure your hand's not behind it like that or you're going to be uh, sorry, just simply put a hole in the roof where you want it using your knife as a drill. Just go right through and it goes through quite easily as you can see and then once you get to this stage you can really start cutting it out so if you want to cut it out you can just come down along and keep eating away at it and it'll make it bigger and bigger so something that I will use and a lot of people have uh, is a pair of their cutters for doing or taking the material off the sprue and you can go right in with this and you can start cutting this all out So after you get after you get three quarters of the way through or whatever, you can actually just put a line with your blade, and then that piece will just snap right off. Like that. So one thing you want to be careful of is you'll see where the ribs are in the roof. And where the ribs are in the roof, it's also indicated inside, and that's the metal structure or the metal component of the roofing, uh, the roofing structure. Um, you're not going to want to put holes over that because usually snow or puddles of water or anything would not sit on top of those bars. Um, 
and they're metal so you're not going to want to have a droop or a hole where that metal bar is so if you just simply identify where those are and put your holes on the sections where there are nothing it'll be a little bit more realistic looking and uh, and you'll be able to have a, a model that you're a little happier with so if you want to make this hole bigger you can keep on carving this out and making it as big as you want Okay, so that's one hole. So then if we want a smaller hole here, we can put a smaller one here. Now, some of you may have, and I do, so I have drills that I can use. And if you want to use a drill, you can use a drill to go through this, which is a little bit faster, right? And some of you may also have a Dremel. And if you have a Dremel, you can use a Dremel to, uh, to do it. Uh, I have a couple Dremels, but the reason why I don't want to use a Dremel is just because some people may not have them. And uh, I don't want to use something that people don't have and they're not going to be able to do it. Because this is actually a pretty simple, uh, simple task to do. And it's... Uh, <clears throat> so there, now I've got that done. I'm going to make the holes a little bit bigger. Again, you'll see that I'm being careful to avoid those ribs. And once you get through to here, Again, just score it with your knife. Like so. You'll be able to just snap that piece right off. So there's your other hole, right? And then if you want to put another one here, you can put another one here. If you don't, you don't have to. It's totally up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay. So once you get to this stage, you're going to want to start getting the uh, PVA glue ready. And usually what I do is I'll just mix this up so that it is a watery consistency. You can see how watery that is. But it's still, still paste-like, right? So you're not removing all of the, uh, all of the glue. Uh, properties. So you take your take your paper and you're just going to want to roughly make it the size of the roof. Apply some of your glue. And you're, you're going to want to do this on the entire roof, not just, not just on the top of it, because you're going to want to have that old canvas look over the whole roof. So once you have that done, just apply... your tissue paper. Tissue paper is really easy to work with, guys and girls. It's This is not difficult at all, and you really can't mess this up. So then you just apply it. You can see already just how realistic it looks. And then just take a little bit more glue, put it over everything. 
And tissue paper is just so forgiving because it just it, it just molds itself to whatever you're working with. So I'll put it over the holes that I made. I'll wrap this stuff here all under. Just keep working it. Take your time. Okay, now where the back window is, obviously I don't want to have solid canvas over the back window, so I'm going to want to cut that out. So I literally just take my knife, push it through, and then run it along. Don't pull back up this way. Don't pull this way on it or you will uh, you'll tear the paper towel off of there. So only push in. And that's it. And so now you can actually take Glue mixture and get back in there and start working those corners and opening that window up. Okay, so there you go. Don't have puddles. Don't have puddles of the glue up on the uh, up on the roof. So now that you have that like that. You can set this down and let it dry for a little bit, um, and that way there it will it'll give you a chance to to poke these holes down through. But all you are going to do is just simply take your knife, and you're going to just open this up and push down on it. So push down and let the material rip. You're not going to cut it with your knife. You're going to let it droop and sag and rip because that's what would happen in real life. Just like that. So I just give it a blow inwards. Then you got it all hanging down. So now what you want to do is just let that dry. And you can see the effect, so you can see that this roof here uh, is going to turn out to look exactly like this roof here when it dries. Uh, and that's how you end up with uh, damage on uh, canvas, or if you're working on seats, you can do this exact same effect with seats. The interior of uh, this car here has got the seat all wore out, and to do that, all I did is I took some uh, copper wire and I glued it on the bot. I cut the hole out of the seat, glued it on the bottom of the seat, then drooped this over and pushed it down through, and it just gave it the effect. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that one as well if you guys think you're interested in seeing that. Um, but that's it. You do that, you let that dry, uh, and then you go back to doing your, uh, your weathering techniques with your, uh, your airbrush and your, your uh, weathering uh, powders and stuff like that. But it's that simple to work with, uh, work with plastic and make it look like canvas, and it's that simple to uh, make canvas looks like it, look like it's old, weathered, and, uh, and completely beat up. The back window effect was real simple. All that is... 
I have a drawer that is full of plastics from uh, pop bottles. Obviously those are green. I'll use those for helicopters. These are clear. These are uh, off of any kind of a vacuum form package or pop bottles or whatever you want. And you literally just cut this out for the window and then take your knife and score it and you can crack it and it'll look just like worn uh, old sun-dried plastic and you'll get a great effect that way as well. Anyway guys, I hope this helps. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little cold and out of shape with doing these uh doing these videos so uh you know if i get back into it again hopefully i can make them a little bit better for you but in the meantime you know this might help somebody weather their vehicle up uh, and make it look nice see you in the next video and uh, most important keep building have fun see ya